Hey guys, and welcome to this new video tutorial on highlighting text in social media posts. Uh, browsing through some videos on YouTube, I've noticed that quite a few people are using this text highlighting effect when talking about tweets, um, Facebook posts, and YouTube uh, comment sections. Some of them look great, um, others are sort of okay. But, um, but what's interesting in these examples is how you can direct your viewers' attention with some simple text highlights. So seeing this, I figured I'd do a quick video tutorial showing just how easy it is to create such effect using Document Highlighter and uh, more importantly, how it can be done in under five minutes. Now, where do I have it? Okay, yeah, uh, let's, let's take this video as our example and I'll show you just how easy it is to recreate such animation and in fact, how we can improve on it. So the first thing we need to do is get a screen grab of a tweet. I head over to Envato's Twitter page and let's say I'll use this guy as it has quite a bit of text. I uh, take a screen grab, then scroll to the very top and take another one here which I'll use as my background. Now I have document highlighter template opened up and I'll, and I'll bring both of the images into my project. Uh, I create a new comp, set it to 1920 by 1080, 5 seconds should be enough and we'll call it highlight a tweet and I press OK to create it. Now I can bring both of these images into my comp. Uh, I'll set up the background first. I'll shut off my tweet image for now and I can start setting up my background. Uh, I take this guy, rescale it and position it like so. I want the background to be less prominent so I'll add a fast blur effect uh, I'll set the radius to 10 and enable repeat edge pixels to ensure that we get even blurring across the image. Let's also darken this guy by applying a brightness and contrast effect and uh, setting these guys somewhere around here. All right, so with our background in place, I can now create the tweet itself. Uh, first, I create a rectangular box that will act as my tweet container and I'll place it under my tweet layer. Next, I select my tweet layer and draw a rectangular mask around it to remove any of this stuff. Let's just tweak this a little more. And now I'll link my tweet to its container box so that the two move together. I also want to give this some soft drop shadow to sell the illusion that it's hovering above the background. And um, okay, and that's looking pretty good. Next, let's animate it in so it pops up into place with, um, with a little bounce. Okay, and finally, I might just add some slow scaling to our background to give it some motion so it doesn't just sit dead there. And let's preview this. All right, so our tweet is looking pretty good. Okay, so next, let's see how we go about highlighting some of this text. It might sound like this is the complicated part of this tutorial, but it's actually probably like 10 clicks to do it. I opened up my document highlighter dashboard where I have a number of different uh, highlighting markups to choose from. I'll use this guy as it's ideal for highlighting text. I press Command C to copy it, switch back to my tweet comp and paste it here using Command V shortcut. I'll move it above my tweet and I'll link it to the same container. Let's offset it in time so it starts after the tweet animates in. To highlight the second line, I'll duplicate it, move it here, and offset it by a couple more frames. So let's just preview this. All right, and that's looking pretty good. And one more thing that I might do is change its color. And I might even invert the text to make it read better on a, on a dark highlight. And that's just how easy it is to create such animation. And as you have seen, once you've created the tweet itself, adding the text highlight is like a 20 second job. And say if you wanted to reuse this clip for a different tweet, it's as simple as screen grabbing it and, and then swapping out the assets here. And we'll readjust the highlights and you're done. Alright, so thanks for watching this video tutorial. I hope it was helpful and in the description I've included the links to the document highlighter template, 
as well as the After Effects project file of the animated tweet that we just built here.